Hello students, welcome to Fiddle Friday. Today is Friday at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I've been teaching classes, uh, working out of the You Can Teach Yourself Fiddling book for the last about eight weeks or so. I've had a lot of fun and uh, learned a lot of fiddle tunes. We have in our class today Eric and also a brand new student that's never been in the class. I've done a couple private lessons with her. Her name is Gail Ryan. Thank you Gail for joining us today. Uh, we don't see you quite yet, but I know that you're able to hear us and uh, I know your audio is, is working perfectly, so uh, thank you so much for joining us today. I wanted to let you guys know real quick that uh, I am going to dis discontinue the fiddle class for at least a few weeks. Uh, I have a gig next Friday, and I know this is really busy for people during the holidays uh, for the weekends. I think I'm also going to discontinue the Spotlight Saturday class after tomorrow, just to let you guys know. So it will just be the Sunday through Thursday for the next uh, three or so weeks for the holidays. So I'll email... Um, most of you guys on the Google Plus platform to let you guys know that been you know uh, participating in a lot of the live classes. So very good. So we're going to be uh, going through the Shady Grove tune today and kind of talking about it and and hopefully uh, giving you guys some tips on how to make it sound really good. Uh, Eric also did say he would be willing to play it a little bit and uh, give him some tips on the song. So uh, we'll definitely start by me giving some advice on the slides and such because this is a really good tune for that. This is kind of what we call a minor tune, where it doesn't sound real happy, real major. Major uh, songs tend to sound real like um, like the songs we've done so far, kind of more jittery and happy, uh, where this is going to be more minor and kind of sad. So I'll play it for you guys once so you can see what I mean. The song that you would play if you have the blues, if you're kind of having a bad day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's got a nice little melody to it. So I'm going to write in some slides that you guys uh, could put in here. That would work really well. So for those of you guys that don't haven't seen any of my other classes, a slide is basically when you start a note out a little bit lower than the normal pitch, and you kind of slide your finger into the note. So a first finger slide would start here and kind of work its way into the normal one position, like this. So I was doing some of those in there. A uh, two slide, a high two slide would start off where the low two is, and then slide in the normal two. And then three would start off where the high two would go, and then go into the three, like that. And then a down slide, which is the opposite. Instead of going up with the pitch, we're actually going to go down. Oops, this way. Um, so if we're doing a once down slide, it would start here and then slide down into the very bottom of the fingerboard. So and when you reach the very bottom, you kind of switch directions like that. So we're going to put some of those in here. And one thing I'm going to add in that we haven't done before is we're going to do some down slides on actual fingers other than one. So to do a down slide on a two, what we do is we down slide, and then right when we get to that last, the very spot where the one starts, that's when we, we go the other direction. Like that. So there's a spot in here where we're going to have to do that. So let's go ahead and, and mark some up slides and down slides. So definitely the second measure, I think, on the B there is good. And an up slide. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've done in here. Just in a second here. Down slide. Down slide. Down slide. Down slides kind of give that more gloomy, kind of sad tone. So there's a lot of down slides in this one, although some up slides. All right, and then up slide, down, up, down. This is what I would suggest. So 
So downslide, because a lot of times with a 1 to a 0, we do a downslide, and then we kind of do an up, up slide, downslide, down, down, up, down, up, up, and so on. So let's go ahead and play it slow for you guys so you guys can follow the downslide, upslide suggestions. <laughs> slide on the two. That's kind of where I would suggest doing the up slides and down slides. Uh, Eric, would you mind playing it for us, and then I can give you some tips on the uh, on the technique a little bit. Okay. Uh, first, I'd like to to uh, to to say you to you that I still don't have your image. I can hear you, but I can't see you. So uh, I didn't see when you put the up slide or down slide. From what I've heard, I try to indicate them on my sheet, but it may be wrong. Oh, uh, that's okay, Eric. Actually, you know what I said um, in a previous class? It's actually totally fine to do them in a different spots. You can do them in different spots each time. There's no real like um, strict requirement on when to do the slides. So, uh, And you really don't even have to put any in for the first time. If you want to just play the notes, and I can give you some tips on the intonation and uh, you know crossover, stuff like that. Very good. So I'll try without any slides to to play this part. Great. So nice job, Eric. Very good intonation. Um, for those of you guys that don't know what intonation is, it's just where he's putting his fingers down. It's very good. Um, Eric, great job with both sustainment. A lot of times students that hold those long notes out, a lot of times they have that kind of bounce, and you weren't getting that at all. You are getting a very solid sound. So would you say that a lot of the, the, um, the technique helps and tips you've been watching have been helping with your, with your bow grip and technique, your sound? Certainly, certainly. Everything you said about the technique uh, helps a lot, and uh, it's uh, the things that um, we have to practice. Uh, we can forget uh, some of them at first, but with time it makes a difference. And there are tips that you gave me uh, with for classes before you made those hangouts, so uh, it made the difference, certainly. Very good. Well, I'm excited to do that private lesson with you soon. And, uh, yeah, much improved from last time I heard you play. And uh, I'm, it makes me feel really good about just everything we've done so far in the classes, uh, just being able to see improvement in your playing.
So congratulations. This sounds really great. I uh, highly encourage you guys to hop on um, Hangouts for some of the classes next week. We actually had a full class last three nights. So it was really, really cool. And um, I know it's a little bit harder maybe for students to play when it's a little more of a busy class, but I think it's a really good way for you guys to get better and for me to give you feedback. Um, one thing that I'm going to be doing here in the next uh, couple weeks is uh, actually composing a song. Eric, I'm actually almost uh, done with the song, um, mm. almost to the end. And uh, the song is going to basically be a song that all my students are going to play uh, two weeks from, from now. Uh, and work on different parts in the piece. And some of them are going to be really easy, some are going to be a little harder. And if you guys are interested in that, feel free to email me at rivertownviolin at hotmail.com, and I'll definitely get you guys in on the, the Hangout, and uh, you'll be able to take part in putting a song together. So it'll be a lot of fun. Gail, let me know if you're interested in that. Um, email me. it be really fun. So, yeah, I figured this would be kind of a good uh, place to stop. Um, you know, as far as the fiddle classes, uh, I think they've been a lot of fun so far. I definitely want to continue them soon, uh, but hopefully you guys learned a little bit about, imp about improvisation and hope learned a little bit about different songs in this book. Um, highly recommend that you guys get the book. There's a lot of good stuff in here. It starts to get into some more advanced stuff, like double stops, uh, like um, different tags and stuff that you can put kind of at the end of phrases. It has some Irish stuff. Uh, it really has a lot of stuff, um, almost 100 pages of music, and uh, I use this all, quite often for students, and it's a great resource. And uh, if you guys have any questions about how to get the book or anything else related to the fiddle or violin, feel free to email me at rivertownviolin at hotmail.com, and I'm going to get working on that piece uh, for the rest of this evening, and hopefully I'll be sending all you guys an email tomorrow with the actual uh, link to the song and you'll be able to play it and see how it sounds and and hopefully we'll start working on it early next week so thank you guys all for watching today's uh, lesson that was a little bit shorter than normal but um, please feel free to um, give me some feedback regarding how you thought this, these fiddle classes went and uh, maybe we will start another one here in the future or some something else that you guys are interested in thank you guys so much and we'll talk to you all soon y'all <laughs>